Hello folks, I'm Brian Manzella. I'm going to show you a couple of shots that you absolutely need to be able to score your best playing Lynx Golf and how not only the tour players may try to play these shots at the open, but how you can utilize this technique not only for Lynx Golf back home, but for Parkland Golf as well. Before you try to utilize any specific techniques to try to hit the ball lower, you need to understand what makes the ball go lower than it would, let's say, if I was playing a standard shot with this four iron I have here. I would have normal ball position a little left to middle, but not too, too far forward. And I'd wind up with a little bit of hip slide and my hands forward enough to get the actually to get the hosel to lean forward and take some off off the club. So taking loft off with the hosel lean, that's number one. Number two, to take the rest of the D plane down is hitting down on the ball more. Now that's gonna make you spin it, but it may help you to have this little bit of extra spin because that might keep the ball in the air. So here's how I suggest you pull this shot off. With your grip maybe just choked down a little bitty bit, I'm gonna get closer to the ball and suck my elbows in at my side a little bit. What that does is it allows me, because I have extra arms, right, getting closer to the ball, I'm gonna get real close here to show you, to go ahead and extend my arms and lean this whole club forward and get that hosel lean that's gonna take the top half of the D plane down. As I use almost my normal ball position, I get it pretty much right in the middle of my feet. And then what I do is I get closer and put a little bit more weight on my left foot. Now, when you do the weight on your left foot, please don't lean your upper body to the left. Keep your upper body in its kind of standard position that you would use on a full shot. So now you've got these soft arms that are able to go ahead and press forward and take some of the loft off. And you should be able to hit down on the ball a little bit more because your weight's gonna be on the left foot and more or less stay there. And then what you see on TV a lot is all the commentators talking about the hit a low shot, you have to finish low. That has absolutely nothing to do with hitting a low shot. It's just the result of if you do all this stuff, you're not gonna wind up probably like a Johnny Miller finish from 1974. So let's go ahead and play the shot. So I'm a little closer. I've got the ball just a hair further back in my stance. I've got my weight left without having my upper body left and I'm trying to figure out about where I want to land the ball. And another thing is, if you just swing a little bit easier, if you take plenty club, it's going to spin a little bit less and it's going to go lower. Here we go. Forward, taking a law ball. Now that ball went no higher than my eyes and I'm not the tallest guy in the world. So that's a shot you can play. That was about a three quarter shot, but that's a shot you can play with any club and it's gonna take enough loft off and give you enough downward. That ball is gonna start about 75% toward the top of that D plane where that club face was pointing as far as loft goes. And that's gonna give you a really low shot. Now, let's look at the other shot you have to play to play Lynx Golf effectively. In Lynx Golf, fescue grass and in the United States and maybe some other parts of the country, uh, grass called pass palum, uh, a really sturdy uh, seaside saltwater tolerant grass uh, is used. But what that gives you the opportunity to do is play completely different shots like to this green in front of me, which is about 55 or 60 yards away. And my favorite shot to play here is with about a 20 degree hybrid. I have my 20.5 degree hybrid right here. So I'm gonna get a little closer, got my elbows bent, use pretty much the same technique that I was using on the low shot with the four iron, a little bit maybe more throw in the right wrist, get a feel for how hard to hit it, 55 yard shot, and go ahead and pull it off. Ball gets a little height early, rolls out the rest of the way, and if you practice this shot enough, you'll get the feel for the speed you need, and it'll be more or less like a long putt. Spend some time working on those two shots, and I think you'll be very surprised at how useful they are at any golf course to lower your scores.